You are in the snack business, dealing with various snacks like hawthorn, walnuts, pine nuts, and more. Hailing from Ninxia, you named your snacks Helen Mountain, adorning the packaging with the image of Ye Fei at Helen Mountain. You initially believed that this patriotic snacking sentiment would stir the desire to purchase among many people. However, the reality was that the products were hardly selling. What Toto? To address the issue of what to do, we first need to understand its essence. Essentially, you failed to attract consumers from packaging, name, and unique selling points. A good product should lie there quietly, yet compel people to approach, pick it up, cherish it, and place it in their shopping cart. This kind of making eye contact with you in the crowd, and never being able to forget your appearance, is the product's power, known as silent selling power. Let me provide an example. Lore strolling through neatly arranged supermarket shelves. Products anticipate your attention, but before they could even demonstrate themselves, your gaze has already passed, not even granting half a second's opportunity. However, when products are feeling dejected, you suddenly stop and pick up a bottle of cola. It's a surprise for both the products and you, because your name, Laura, is imprinted on that bottle. Buying a cola bottle with your own name on Itho Cool. This is the famous Coca-Cola Share a Coke campaign. Swiftly introduced in China, localized using nicknames like Geek, Foodie, Tough Guy, it also achieved immense silent selling power. This power, solely derived from the product itself its name, packaging, unique selling points. Without the need for advertisements, promotions, or other marketing techniques referred to as silent selling power. Many people place great emphasis on advertising through external media like the internet, television, and neglect an equally important internal media, the product itself. At its core, the silent selling power considers the product itself as the most crucial advertising space. So, how can you advertise on this internal media like the named bottle and have the quiet potential to sell out? Remember these form of thoughts. Firstly, product color. We've learned that consumers make purchase decisions in less than 20 seconds. In the initial 7 seconds, the color is the primary impression. According to research from the International Color Association, merely changing colors can add 10 minus 25 additional value to a product. Nestle even conducted an experiment, placing the same coffee in green, white, and red cups. Consumers believed the coffee in the red cup tasted the best. Therefore, choosing the right color is crucial. For example, Coca-Cola's red represents joy, Pepsi's blue symbolizes coolness, and Apple's white stands for simplicity. Secondly, unique selling points. Pantene's selling point is smoothness, head and in shoulders targets dandruff. Ikalu focuses on naturalness, while Wahaha emphasizes 15 nutrients in one step. A product might have many points, but listing all features on the packaging is unrealistic and may weaken each other. It's crucial to highlight a single main selling point, aligning it with the consumer's primary needs, transforming the product from optional to a must-buy item. Thirdly, product name. Naming your product Helen Mountain out of personal sentiment was indeed a mistake. Imagine a scenario where a customer eating your snack is asked by someone nearby, what are you eating? And your customer replies, Helen Mountain. The product name is the most critical advertising space, and it's best to include the primary selling point within the name itself. Lastly, product emotion. Returning to the initial example, Coca-Cola's named bottle, whether Aura or Tough Guy, invokes emotions through its packaging. Later, many companies followed suit. For example, Wei Chuan's daily C packaging with phrases like, you've worked hard over time, have some juice, from dawn till dusk, have some juice, or Snickers packaging with phrases like, fainted from hunger, kneeling from hunger, and so on. So, what can you do? Perhaps you could rename your product, eat without gaining weight, healthy snacks, use rainbow-colored packaging, 
Rainbow colors are eye-catching and subtly suggest rich and balanced nutrition. Boldly print, delicious without gaining weight on the packaging. Emphasizing that the product undergoes strict fat removal processes, retaining its original taste without causing weight gain. Add emotional phrases like, beloved by foodies since ancient times. Don't worry, foodie, I've got you, etc. To emotionally connect with consumers. In conclusion, silent selling power refers to the sales potential derived solely from the product. Itself its name, packaging, unique selling points, etc. We've learned four methods to enhance silent selling power, product color, unique selling points, product name, and product emotions.